What's going on everybody, Senor Spicy here, back with another Pirate 101 video for you guys today. So, I actually just finished up uh, live streaming on my Twitch channel. If you guys don't follow me, uh, go check me out on Twitch. I stream Pirate almost every day. Um, and while I was live, I got a notification on my phone uh, from Twitter that Pirate 101 had officially released the update notes for the upcoming Sinbad Part 2 update for Pirate 101. So, the update notes are officially released, and it was said that the update is coming out tomorrow. As of right now, it is uh, 9 p.m. May 23rd, Tuesday, so the update is going to be coming out tomorrow, May 24th, uh, around 5 a.m. Central Time. So, um, we're going to just quickly head on over to the Twitter. As you can see right here, KI Alerts. Uh, just two hours ago, Part 101 game servers and uh, kingsout.com website will be under maintenance uh, tomorrow at 2 a.m. Central. Uh, for a few hours, maintenance includes a new update for Pirate. So, before that was released, this was also stated. It's our absolute pleasure to introduce to you the update notes for Sinbad Chapter 2, The Iron Lotus. Log on tomorrow morning after 5 a.m. Central to experience the first update. So... I will be live streaming tomorrow um, at this time. It's going to be around 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 a.m. Central. Uh, whenever I can log on to Pirate is when I'm going to go live on my Twitch channel, and I'll be uh, playing the Pirate update as soon as it comes out. So, either way, let's take a, a look at the update notes. Here we are. So, a new update for Pirate 101 is coming May 24th between 2 and 5 a.m. Central. So Pirates, it's our absolute pleasure to introduce to you Sinbad Chapter 2, The Iron Lotus. It's the first of few updates coming to Pirate this year, so raise your anchors and lose your sails. So, first of few updates coming to Pirate 101 this, is, this year, uh, that's, that's nice to see because, um, you know, usually when I see updates like this, recently the uh, more quote-unquote frequent updates have just, have just been one update a year. You know, Sinbad Part 2, the... Uh, the, the, the key bosses in, in Avery's core, it's kind of just that update for the, the entire year. So, seeing that this is the first of a few updates coming to Pirate this year, that, that's cool to see. So, in this update, we continue the legendary tale of Sinbad up to the events of our underground adventures, Devilfish Hollow. Ready yourselves for a series, a series of fights that will bring ill prepared pirates to their knees. Those with enough skill and bravery, <clears throat> or blood flames for some time, will find themselves adorned in never before seen weapons and accessories. All right, cool. So max level pirates will also have a new limited edition challenge, a new dreadnought. So the dreadnought that they leaked uh, is also going to be coming this update. It's not going to be coming the next update, which I thought it was going to come the next update. It's actually coming this update, which is nice. Two days a week, this monstrous battle will be will be available for daring pirates to encounter. This is a little bit weird. I don't know why they're making this only appear two days a week. I'm not really sure how I feel about that. However, it was stated apparently in the Discord server that they might, um, to start, they might have it available 24-7 so that we can play it and get used to it, and then they'll switch it over to a two-day-a-week system. Um, I believe that's what they said in the Discord, so that's nice, but still, I don't really understand why you're making it only two days a week. Um, make sure to talk to Padre McCallum, whatever that name is, in Avery's Court. Last but not least, borderless full screen mode. So this is really nice to see. This has been a quality of life update that people have been asking for for years now. I mean, this was this was a reason why Wizard 101 players wouldn't play Pirate. Like, I knew a bunch of Wiz players that wouldn't play Pirate solely because of this. Solely because of that. So, um, now you have uh, no excuse, Wiz players. All you Wiz heads, go play Pirate. Alright, here we have the picture of uh, Sinbad Part 2 that I leaked on my Twitter. Uh, for you guys. So, Sinbad Chapter 2, The Iron Lotus. Alright, so they have a Discord channel in the main Discord um, where you can provide feedback. Feel free to join the official Discord server as well as mine. We've been talking about Sinbad Part 2 for the last month now. Um, so, you're, so here we go. The update features a brand new quest line with the following highlights. So, a seven, so it's seven floors, seven floor combat tower with one mini boss and a final boss. So... I don't know where this mini boss is going to be. I gotta assume that the final boss will be on the last floor. Um, I'm not sure if the mini boss is gonna be 
on the same floor as the final boss, or maybe it'll be like the third or fourth floor. Who knows? So this is big right here. Two new free, free companions for completing the quest. That's big because a lot of people were worried that they were going to put them behind um, the crown shop. Put them in the crown shop that you'd have to spend real money for. Um, I thought they were going to be free um, because they keep on putting that Raja ruffian companion in the crown shop that they keep taking out because it keeps being bugged. Um, I wouldn't think they would put more than one Sinbad Part 2 companion in the crown shop. So that is nice that it's going to be free. However, it's not going to be free to play, I don't believe. As in, this update's not going to be free to play because the teasers for it were um, in Mushu. And the Dreadnought itself is also in Cold Ash. So... So 20 plus new unique Persian themed weapon and accessories and powerful abilities. If you guys want to see all of them, um, Atmoplex has leaked them already. Like weeks ago, they, they, they leaked all this gear. Um, so you can see all that there. Um, and this as well is also pretty big. The Sinbad quests are no longer side content and have been moved to the main storyline. To start this quest, talk to Albano and Amy's Court. So this is interesting. So now they're making it part of the main storyline. So I'm wondering... If you defeat Kayan and then you do that final dialogue with Avery, does the main quest line like tell you straight to go talk to Albano? I guess that's what it did now. So I guess now the main quest makes you talk to Albano. Um, that's so. Um, I guess we'll see. Um, so a new dreadnought. So this is the second thing that they were adding. So a new dreadnought and a Marna Skyway assault ship is in Cool Ranch. So they added the Cool Ranch. So this looks like it's this looks like it's it's Big Sky. This looks like it's in Big Sky in Cool Ranch. Where to as Burns Dreadnought? I think that's how you say that. When this quest is active, talk to McCallum and Avery's Court to find the dreadnought as a part of uh, the Burn Uprising quest. So this guy Burn has co-opted some. Haywire are model weapons and made some devious modifications. Pirates have a chance to plunder some of these modified weapons. So this is interesting. So this looks like these are completely new weapons. Um, that will be uh, able to also be obtained from this. So on top of all of this new stuff, it looks like there's also going to be a handful of new armada weapons that you can farm from this dreadnought. And this is what they, they said that this is... Uh, but they say this, uh, this is going to be uh, only here for two days a week, right? Somewhere, wherever that's about. Um, so, interesting. Interesting. So, totally separate from the Sinbad update, this Dreadnought acts as a special event that's peri periodically turned on for limited periods of time. So, I'm not a big fan of that, because I know how the game's drop rates are. So, if... If they're making this only appear sometimes, and it's not always going to be here, I think, I hope, the drop rates are not bad, like this game has a reputation for. Um, hopefully the drop rates aren't bad, because if you're only going to be able to farm it a couple days a week, um, yeah, that's going to suck. Um, and also, this Dreadnought has a cooldown period for your pirate after you fight it. You'll need to wait an hour to redo the quest every time you fight it, so... It seems they don't want you to hard grind farm this. It seems. So this will be interesting. I'll definitely be doing this as well tomorrow. Um, as soon as I can. This will be interesting. Um, because there have not been any leaks for these weapons, by the way. So I have no clue what these weapons are. I don't know if they're good. I don't know if they're only cosmetics. I don't know how many there are. I don't even know anything about this fight. So it'll be interesting to see these weapons. Because um, they haven't been leaked or teased at all. So, this will be interesting. And then here we go. Bug fixes and other changes. So, Black Annie no longer loses range on her final promotion, which is nice. This is one of those... A lot of these things... Um, well, not a lot of these things, but some of these things were in my bug list that I submitted to Pirate um, and stuff that I specifically told them about. This one being one of them that I told about years ago. And finally, they fixed it. So Black Annie no longer losing range on her final promotion. If you don't know, on her final promotion, she goes from 5 range to 4 range, which is really weird. Um, so they finally fixed her, so now a fully promoted Black Annie will still have 5 range, which makes her... This is just a buff to Black Annie, basically. So this is really good. Black Annie's a good buy to, to get on Musketeers for PvE. I highly recommend that you guys get Black Annie on your Musketeer for PvE. Um, she's just great. She's a very good companion. 
So, Haywire Shot now anim animates correctly on pistols and combo weapons. That's nice. Haywire Shot just wouldn't have an animation. It literally just would do damage and knock them back. There would just be no animation. So that's good. The Turquoise Jackalope Pet now no longer has a max willpower of 505. <laughs> Much more reasonable 50 now. So I didn't even know about this. I, don't even, I didn't even know at all about this, but that's good. That seems crazy. Um... The black market tarantula can now make a hybrid pet with a certain other pet to create the quesodillo. So that's pretty interesting. I don't even know. So they won't tell you the pet with a certain other pet. If I had to guess, I'd assume it'd be an armadillo pet. The, you know, quesadillo. I know there's like a marshmallow armadillo pet. So I don't really know what pet this would be. But if you guys find out, let me know. Um, exceptional header up has been taught how to spell its own name. It no, it's no longer exceptional head wrapper. So, this is just the, the spelling error that they fixed, and this as well, Mustang Boots. Spelling has been corrected to Mustang Boots. So this was from the new pack that they, they said they're finally fixing that. El Toro is, has become 20% more Toro. I don't know why Hockeyleys has such an obsession with El Toro when his name is... It should, it should be something about Hockeyleys, not El Toro. Anyway. So, this is... I made a video about this earlier if you guys didn't check it out. Check out my Blood Flames nerf video. So, Blood Flames and Summer Flames are both being changed from times 4 spell power to times 2. Blood Flames and Summer's Fire have been on our radar for a long time. Oh, I know. They're generally unique powers in that they deal 4 times spell power. The next closest player trained AoE power deals 1.5 times spell power, thus, we adjusted these powers closer to that standard while still leaving them with some extra value. So, basically, they're saying. Blood Flames and Summer Flames do four times spell power. The next closest thing to that is like Musketeer Bombs that do 1.5 times spell power. So that's way too big a gap, so they brought it down to two times. Um, but they still left it with some extra values. So instead of making it 1.5 times, they made it two times, so it's still pretty good. It's still not bad. We're continuing to look at the combat balance as a whole and other outlier powers such as the Mojo Flow Line. So they are, I guess, looking at um, nerfing Old Scratch here, which they gotta be careful about, because if you nerf Old Scratch, you make Wish Doctors useless, like I've said before, so, um, hopefully they don't just do this blindly and they, uh, they go about this correctly. And then Borderless Full Screen Mode, of course, coming. So, those are the update notes, this is the update that's coming tomorrow, 5am Central Time, 6 p.m. Eastern time around that time. I will be live on Twitch, so everybody go follow me on Twitch, and uh, I will gladly do the quest and farm with you guys tomorrow morning. If you don't make it then, I'll also be live streaming tomorrow um, in the afternoon, or I guess rather the evening, around 5, 6, 7 p.m. Eastern time, somewhere around there, because a lot of people have school and work tomorrow. Uh, so it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited to farm for these weapons. I'm excited to get two new companions. Um, so, to prepare, you guys should probably uh, have some crowns, probably have some gold, uh, and get ready. Um, I'm excited to get ready. Spell 5, double tap 5 on my musket. See how that goes. And, uh, yeah, this new Dreads, it seems cool. I'm definitely going to be farming for these modified weapons. Let me know what you guys think of the patch notes. What are you excited for? What do you guys think? Um, they forgot what, what what do you guys think let me know in the comments and uh yeah be sure to pull up the stream tomorrow twitch.tv slash senor underscore spicy underscore all right um thanks for watching the video guys and i'll see you guys tomorrow when the update drops all right guys peace <laughs>